Hello everyone, my name is Ferris Farron and welcome to Frog Detective 1 The Haunted Island So, <laughs> don't ask me Oh, you can ask me, Fay, why, why did you choose that game? Look at it Look at it Isn't it adorable? I don't know, I, I saw it, I saw some screenshots I just became a fan and it's, I think it's a three part series, so Let's actually see if we will like it. And then we continue with Frog Detective. That's gonna be quite some adventure. Um, again, I have no idea about this game, but again, I guess it's solving a case because it's a detective. It's a frog. What do you, what do you want more? But yeah, without further ado, let's go right into Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. Yes, I'm sure. Look at him walking. Alright! Straight into the game, I like that. That's a nice picture, someone is calling me. Hello? Oh, voice acting, let's go. Hello? Who's it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. Alright, thanks with you. Me and my wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well. Salamat adang kembali. That means, welcome back, I think. Well, thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Oh, cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island, just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Wow! The ghost is still at large. So, the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available, so I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand, Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I need to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are... There's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. I'll see you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, so I'm the second best investigator in here. I take that. A magnifying glass. That's what every detective needs. Ah, yes. My trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now, I can right-click to see things up close. Okay. Time to solve a mystery. And there we go. Look at him walking. Grace Brooksner presents a frog in a boat with a magnifying glass. A frog detective adventure. Oh, they even have that. The good old detective soundtrack. It's just an island in the middle of no. Wait, there's nothing on that island. What's going on? Okay, Martin the Sloth. Larry the lobster, Ma the mouse, mouse, Bernie the bear, 
and fresh eggs. <laughs> and the rest, oh. Case one, the haunted island. Well, I'm in for the job. Let's go. Can't wait to see what will happen now. Hi. Okay. Welcome. Let's talk with you. Yeah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figure out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Ah, uh, you have been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Oh, of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of the island of this island is? Ah, that would be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can catch him there. Hmm. Very interesting. I'll investigate. Hmm. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay. Who should I talk to second? <laughs> hmm. Larry. The, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? Nothing. I think I will come back later after some investigation. See you around. Oh, see you around. Hmm. He is suspicious. Mystery monkey. Can I talk with you? No. Alright, let's talk with Larry. Hey, uh, it's me, Larry. Hello. I do... I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry. I did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Hmm. Hmm. Can I... Are you going to ask me questions? Yeah, ask them. The questions, I mean. What about the noises? What can you tell me about the- First, I'm not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they are from. Hmm? What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to you, us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they may- I'm a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things to get through that you will need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, we will need a few things. I looked up an explos explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into the cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask them. The questions, I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. Ask them the questions. 
I don't have any questions. So Larry is my favorite already. Look at him smiling. Hey Larry. Okay, you have some pasta. Let's talk with you. Hey. You are the detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job is listing said ghost scientists. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they are testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? Secret agent. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. <laughs> agent. Agent. Why? Uh, Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Burn your wings. Hmm. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I would give up for a magnifying glass is nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? Magnifying glass. Why did you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent not knowing that? Listen. Fine, fine, you're not a secret agent, whatever. What else do you want to know? How about this hole? What do you want to know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I would be a good other job, so I'm just letting you know. But, it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem audibly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Barney, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. Hmm. What else do you want to know? Nothing. I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Okay, Barney is really suspicious right now. Yum. But it's not mine. It is probably Barney's. Questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? Hmm. I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Oh, God. Okay, it's not his. It's a spider. Howdy. Hello. Are you the... Um... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment. Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, hmm, okay. Can I call it D-Tech? Hmm? Yes. Oh, nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? I take it away, D-Tech. Your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab collect like the other scientists? It's my day off. 
I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some hmm, sun. Ah, you're right. Uh, not about the sun, about taking the day off. Oh yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry for questioning you on your day off. Take it away, Detac. You smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have a one you have wonderful teeth. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smile's 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. I got a shipment air here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Um... Well, I could give you my tube. But I would need some else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, D-Tag. Okay, I don't have any questions on you, fresh eggs. See ya, d -tech. What is this? I can't get any further down. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Hi! Howdy! What are you doing in there? Ah, uh, swimming. But there's a storm. Ah, uh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? Now ghosts in the water. Ghosts can swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear that. Oh, thanks. May I, ask you, may I ask you why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Hmm? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is just to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, uh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold in onto the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right. I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floating god in here. How long have you been in the water for? Mm, maybe two weeks. Wow. Are your feet wrinkly? I, I don't know. You shall check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. Why did you want the magnet again? So I can attach it to the back of a boat and zoom along obviously. Alright. Ah, if it sweetens the deal I can give you the big shell in return. I thought it might be magnetic but it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? Well, am I a scientist? Hmm... I... Okay. Is there anything you need to know? No, not right now. Nothing for the moment, but I will come back. Sure thing. Man, the voices change all the time. <laughs> uh, let's... let's investigate more. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts, like I'm sc like in Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. Notes. Some whole noises need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. This might come in handy. 
You got a magnet. Are these bombs? Signs line don't go in. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. <laughs> okay, I cannot do anything here. I can talk to you though. You're Martin, right? Who is Noodle? Hi. How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There is no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. You will. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week. But it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. There is wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Ah, uh, surely that's not true. Yeah, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jump is made out of wool. Ah, uh, are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kinda gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure that shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you would like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes please. So you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom, or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. I believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney? Mind if I ask some more questions? Oh. Ask away. This hole. What can you... T what can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the... <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> this is just so ridiculous. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghost in there. It's a pretty deep hole. It gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from this hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who is stopping you? The boss. Who is the boss? I... Don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. And if I have some more questions? Ask away. Okay, so... Noodle. No questions right now, thanks. Okay, Noodle, you were not the help. I know you are happy. Look at you. Mmm... But you were not the help. That's all I can say. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, you're a detective. Alright, let's talk with the mouse first. Hi. 
Hello. Are you okay? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't know what. I don't want to be embarrassing. Hmm? If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation is not over. There is still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask you some questions? You have some questions? Questions? Yes. You're nervous. That's suspicious. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Um, because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear that about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So, why are you f so afraid of me? Um, hmm. Hmm. Fine. You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mr. Monkey. Hmm? Mr. Monkey's a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mr. Monkey's super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wa uh, uh, mouse wash, mouth wash in return. Sure thing. I will do my best. Questions, yes. Uh, that bottle. What's in the bottle next to you? That's my mouse wash, mouth wash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get into it, thanks. Questions, yes. Uh, the ghost? What can you tell me about the ghost? There is a ghost? <laughs> yes, I mean you're a ghost scientist. Aren't you a ghost scientist? Um, oh, ghost scientist. Not a toast scientist. <laughs> <laughs> that makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took that job because, you know. Hmm? Um, you know. Because you like toast? Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they are coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions, yes. That's all I have to say right now. I'll come back later. Okay. Oh! Hello? So suspicious. <laughs> okay. All right, we have we have a broom here. Oh, a broom. So, and with the broom, I'm able to uh, get the 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 the, the, the sheep wool. So we have two more characters, but this is actually a nice moment to actually stop today uh, today's video. Um, 
This is an interesting game. It's funny. It has some quirks. Yeah. I actually can't wait to see more of it. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Next time we're gonna get the wool. And we're gonna get the toothpaste. Um, and we will see if we can get all the ingredients to actually create the dynamite to go into this. And we're gonna talk with these two characters as well. And I probably will forget all the voices. But yeah. I will see you all in my next video, stream, whatever I do next. But until then, Ferris, Farron, out. You all have a nice one. And I see you all around. But until then, praise for now. Bye. Have a nice one.